AB3 quotas um, uh, of, li uh, of, of, uh, of this country, of livestock keepers, because uh, I believe uh, livestock keepers occupy maybe three quarters of the nation, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, the livestock and livestock produce industry is huge. It's very huge, Madam Speaker. It is an industry that cannot be ignored, Madam Speaker. It's an industry that is lucrative, Madam Speaker. It's an industry that uh, uh, employs a lot of Kenyans, Madam Speaker, and is uh, uh, the livelihood of, of, of many families, Madam Speaker, and uh, families and communities, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it, we have also seen a lot of problems in this field, Madam Speaker, and no wonder uh, Senator Cherarge had to come up with this bill, Madam Speaker. And uh, uh, Madam Speaker, as I second, uh, let me just appreciate the fact that it, uh, Senator Cherarge has taken his time to delve into a lot of the challenges that, that have de bedeviled um, uh, the livestock industry, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, um, in the northern areas of uh, Kenya, Madam Speaker, uh, you know, uh, including um, uh, you know Wajia, Mandera, uh, Samburu, Laikipia, all those, Madam Speaker, um, communities have not lived well, Madam Speaker, because of livestock theft, um, and 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 it has impoverished families, Madam Speaker. Uh, a lot of uh, families have lost their hard-earned wealth, which uh, you know they have uh, uh, accumulated over time, Madam Speaker, and can be lost in one night, Madam Speaker. It is so traumatizing, Madam Speaker. We have seen families that have uh, become paupers. We have seen children who have uh, gotten out of schools because their parents can no longer afford to keep them in schools or, or, or to pay their school fees, Madam Speaker. And it's not because they are, uh, their parents were not hard workers, Madam Speaker. Uh, the parents had worked hard. They had, uh, you know, uh, stocked um, uh, quite a bit of livestock. But in one night, Madam Speaker, that all becomes history. And you find a family by morning starting f from nothing, from scratch, with nothing, Madam Speaker. It, Madam Speaker, it is difficult to even convince those Kenyans that they belong to this country, Madam Speaker, because uh, the experiences are painful. Madam Speaker, I think a few days ago, maybe two, three days ago, I was uh, you know, uh, looking at the news and I saw um, children from Sapumburu County uh, who, are, who are giving us, uh, you know, their testimonies on how difficult it is for them to sit for the exams because of the insecurity, Madam Speaker. And I was imagining these kids, they have brains. They could be very clever. They could be tomorrow the, the speakers of this house, you know. But the, the, the ground, the, the, the environment these children are living in is difficult, Madam Speaker. Uh, and I was imagining, are these kids, uh, are they going to be sitting for the same exams that kids um, in Nairobi, Lovington, Karen, Mutaiga are going to do? It's the same exam. Same invigilators, same, same uh, what, uh, whatever, and, and same markings and ranking, Madam Speaker. It is sad, Madam Speaker, that we're in this country, it's, it has become, it, it, uh, it's still, uh, we're still dealing with, uh, you know, ways of trying to address um, uh, cattle rustling, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I do agree with the move of the, uh, of the motion that in these areas, Madam Speaker, one of the lasting solutions, Madam Speaker, will be development of infrastructure. Madam Speaker, uh, roads are required in all these areas. Schools are required, Madam Speaker, because when people get schooled, they will now see the, see the world from a bigger perspective, Madam Speaker. They will see that they, are, they, they will be able to, to earn a living in other ways, Madam Speaker, becoming doctors, becoming professionals like yourself, becoming lawyers, beca you know, and, and, and they will be able to uh, earn a living 
through other means, Madam Speaker, so their life will not be rotating around cattle rustling. Madam Speaker, uh, today, uh, as we were in a committee meeting earlier in the morning, and I was telling my colleagues, you know, there is pain that has not been addressed in this country. There is pain that has not been addressed because of, 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 of the inequalities, because of historical injustices, areas in this country that have not been developed and remain undeveloped. Kenyans who remain, who just see development in other areas, uh, and, 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 and they, they, you know, they wonder whether they belong to the same country, Madam Speaker. I was telling my colleagues, I was actually talking to Professor Kamar, because I have visited Wasinkishu, and I love the place. It's so beautiful. Um, I have had a chance of visiting very many uh, areas of this country, Madam Speaker. I was telling uh, Professor Kamar, uh, one of these good days I'm going to invite her to, to my home area, my place. It is so near Nairobi, but yet so far. Because we have no infrastructure. Actually, from my home, we can see the lights from Nairobi. But reaching Nairobi is a nightmare. Uh, yet it's so close. It's just like, you know, maybe at the same distance like Thika. But because there are no roads, uh, Madam Speaker, no wonder these Kenyans are left to do their own things, stealing from each other, uh, taking left, uh, you know, uh, stealing goods from this family, taking to, to, the, to the immediate uh, market, uh, go, going through the bushes because uh, roads are, the, you know, roads are impassable. Madam Speaker, it's a sad situation. I was giving my colleagues an example and telling them, I have. I have wondered whether maybe sometimes supporting government does not pay off uh, for some communities and it pays off for others. Maybe those who have stayed in the opposition uh, get more recognized and more rewarded, Madam Speaker, because uh, uh, in Kajiado, for example, and let me just mention, we have supported every government that has come into uh, place, Madam Speaker, from the Kenyatta government. You know, the Moi government, uh, the Kibaki government, uh, the Uhuru Kenyatta government, and the current government, Madam Speaker. Yet, if I give you a very good example today of Mombasa Road is the one that divides Kajiado County and Machakos County. If we give, begin right from uh, Ad River here, uh, there is, you know, from Ad River, now there is, we can use Mombasa Road to be like the backbone. At, at the river next to KMC Kinanye, there is a tarmac road that goes into the Ukambani side. No road going to Kajiado. Go a little further uh, before you reach uh, Machakos Junction, uh, where you branch into Moa Hills, where Songo has a home. There is a tarmac road towards Moa Hills in Ukambani. No road towards the Kajiado side. Reaching Machakos Junction. Of course, there is a road, a tarmac road that goes to uh, Machakos uh, headquarters in Machakos County. No road that goes into Mass Island. Uh, after that, just before you reach Con uh, Konza Junction, there is a road that gets into Ukambani. No road into Mass Island. At Konza Junction, there is a tarmac road that goes into Ukambani. No road into Mass Island. F I'm just following Mom Mombasa Road. At Salama, there is a road that goes to Ukamani water and deep into the interior, no road into Mass Island. You go to Sultan Hamud, the same. Emali is now where we get a road going to Loitoktok. Where do we belong? Do we belong to this country? And you know, I don't know whether the, maybe those in um, the Machakos, Makweni region are being rewarded for being in the opposition, Madam Speaker. I don't know, maybe we are incapable of being in the opposition because we always believe, uh, let's get into government because this is where we will get the services. But we are yet to get the services, Madam Speaker. And it is hurting us. No wonder our people are still believing uh, livestock, uh, you know, uh, theft and, and uh, the bad things that go with it is the order of the day, Madam Speaker. It's so sad, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we see when there is a problem with coffee farming, uh, government comes out, tea farming, government comes out and tries to get a solution. 
We also need livestock insurance, Madam Speaker, to face the harsh climatic conditions, to face the drought and the long farming periods, Madam Speaker. Kajiado has been going through a, th a, 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 a three-year-long drought now, Madam Speaker. We are yet to get the rains, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, these Kenyans living in Turkana, living you know, in um, uh, Baringo, living in uh, all these um, you know, livestock keeping communities do need government to stand with them, Madam Speaker, and we need the necessary uh, legislation that will, will be fair and that will also bring development into uh, uh, these communities, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, if there was electricity in these areas, Young men and uh, uh, girls can start businesses. Uh, you know, they'll do welding, make doors, make, uh, you know, gates um, uh, and, 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 and uh, saloons and, and all that, Madam Speaker. But how do they do that when there is no electricity, Madam Speaker? Madam Speaker, um, uh, the, the bill has talked about the penalties, uh, the jail terms that, that may, be, uh, uh, may, may work well, Madam Speaker. I would say that let us have deterrent laws, deterrent measures, you know, to, to completely um, uh, discourage uh, cattle rustling, Madam Speaker, because it has brought poverty and told suffering into communities, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I have always wondered when I've seen, um, you know, um, on the roads, police would stop with immediate effect a lorry, a canter that is carrying uh, charcoal. But a, a whole lorry carrying livestock will not even be stopped, and the police will know where it's heading to. And the police, most of the times, are in cahoots with, uh, with, with these people who are stealing uh, livestock, Madam Speaker. You know, every time we have reported our goats have been stolen at Isinya, around um, Kajado West area, uh, and, and Kapjei, Madam Speaker, the police have never been able to apprehend, um, you know, a single uh, uh, thief, Madam Speaker. But when it comes to, uh, you know, petty things, they, and, and not, I, I'm not saying petty because charcoal burning, according to, and I'm very passionate about uh, the environment, and I hate to see any person uh, carrying charcoal, uh, you know, for trading. But, uh, Madam Speaker, I have always wondered why the police cannot see a, a lorry carrying a sheep and goat and a lorry car, uh, carrying cattle, but they will always be able to see um, a canter that is carrying um, uh, charcoal, Madam Speaker. And so, Madam Speaker, I do agree with Senator Charage that the movement of livestock uh, should be during the day so that after 6.30 p.m. there is no movement of livestock or before 6.30 in the morning there is no movement of livestock so that people move livestock during the day, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, there should be ex uh, veterinary extension services, um, you know, just like we have seen in the, in the other agricultural areas, Madam Speaker, where government extends services uh, to communities in order to be able to take care of their crops. Uh, we need to take care of the livestock in the same manner that we have uh, provided support to those who do the alternative uh, other farming, Madam Speaker. I do agree with Senator Charage that in, in our communities, alternative dis, uh, dispute resolution mechanisms are there, Madam Speaker, and they should be encouraged, Madam Speaker, um, you know, so, so as to um, get a peaceful environment, an enabling environment for everybody to trade and to be able, um, you know, to uh, have their sources of livelihoods, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I thank you for this opportunity, um, and let me once again congratulate Senator Chirarge. He really speaks for most Kenyans, uh, Madam Speaker, and I believe the future is bright for Senator Chirarge. One day, Senator Chirarge may just become the, the president of this republic, you know, because uh, he's, he has uh, taken every issue seriously, not just the one that affects the people of uh, Nandi, but um, uh, across the country, Madam Speaker, he has been careful to listen to the challenges that affect other Kenyans. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I support. And I second, Madam Speaker. Uh, honorable Senators, uh, 
We will now proceed on with the contributions from other senators. But before that, I want to propose the question that the prevention of livestock and produce theft bill, Senate bills uh, number 2023 be now read a second time. 